Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for today's video because this recipe is a personal favorite of mine and that's Puerto Rican carne guisada. This is a recipe that may vary slightly from family to family, but the key ingredients are always going to be present and I'm going to show you how I make mine. So let's get cooking. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is after I've washed my beef, I'm going to drizzle a nice heavy amount of extra virgin olive oil before I add my spices. And then the spices that I'm gonna use for today, I'm gonna use some sea salt, garlic powder, but you can use fresh, freshly mashed garlic cloves, um, followed by some powdered oregano and black pepper. And these spices are like the key spices in Puerto Rican cooking garlic oregano black pepper salt those are <laughs> those are like the main spices that we use and of course anato or achote but i'm not going to add achote here i'm going to add it in the stew later on but um, i also wanted to note that the beef that i'm using the cut of beef that i'm using is bottom round roast that is a personal preference of mine i find that that cut of beef is leaner and healthier it does take a little longer to cook so you want to make sure that if you use that cut of beef that you're braising it for a good while but any cut of beef will work fine chuck roast top roast sirloin angus etc so after i've seasoned and marinated my beef i'm just going to leave it in the fridge for at least an hour just so that it can soak up all those flavors Okay, so now that my carne has been marinating in the fridge for a good while, it is time to sear my meat. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my pot to medium high heat, let it get nice and hot. I'm gonna add extra virgin olive oil. And just for reference, I have a little over a pound of beef, so not too much. I have a small family. So I'm gonna do this in two separate batches, but you do it in however many batches you need to do it for because when you add your meat when you sear your meat you do not want to overcrowd your pot because rather than searing it and getting that nice crust on each side of the meat um when you overcrowd it it creates a lot of steam and it will it will not sear so make sure you do not overcrowd your pot i also want to note that this is not a necessary step in making beef stew you don't have to do this but i do find that um, searing the beef just helps bring out the flavor much better and cue the music So once I've seared all of my beef and I removed it from the pot and set it aside, with those same juices, I'm going to saute all of my spices, starting off with about two cloves of some smashed garlic. Then after I add my garlic, I'm gonna go in and add about two tablespoons of fresh sofrito. Next up, about half a small can of tomato sauce, which is about four ounces. Now the meat from earlier, I'm just going to throw it into the pot and I'm gonna mix it all up and saute the meat with the sofrito and the tomato sauce and the garlic for about a minute or so, just so that the meat can absorb all of those flavors. And now I'm gonna go in with about three tablespoons of red wine. This is optional, you do not need to add wine, but I like it. <laughs> then I'm gonna add one packet of some Goya Sazon, some ground oregano, one bay leaf, and a little bit of sugar to help cut the acidity. Then one beef bujan. So I'm gonna add most of my vegetables later, but I like, do like to add the carrots at the beginning because I like them nice and soft, and carrots, they don't break apart if you cook them for a long time. So I'm gonna add about half a cup of some chopped carrots. Then I'm gonna add about two and a half cups of water. I wanna add enough water to cover everything up 
plus to leave some room for the potatoes and the guineitos that I'm going to add later on. And then after that, I'm just going to mix everything up really well. I'm going to cover my pot and I'm going to cook it on low medium heat for about one hour and 20 minutes until my meat is nice and tender. So now that my beef stew has been braising for about an hour and a half, just depends on the cut of beef, I'm gonna add one cup of chopped potatoes and a personal favorite of mine, one guineito verde, green banana, green fig, whatever you call it. Um, and I'm just gonna mix it up. And as you can see, I didn't wanna leave this part of the video out, but the liquid has reduced significantly. And that is no problem at all. If this happens to you, just add a little bit of water and bring it to a boil. It will not dilute or ruin your stew at all. And as you can see, my carne guisada is perfection and it came out so good. And I wanted to note that cooking is all about creativity. So do not be afraid to add your own special touch and your own special ingredients to make it yours. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope that you found it enjoyable. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell because a new video will be out every week. Until next time.